I'm Beck, I'm 25, and I write erotic literature and do erotic videos to fund my boob job. I'm Jay, I'm the co-founder of MyFreeImplants.com. We set up the website to help women who couldn't afford cosmetic surgeries obtain them free of cost. I'm on the site when I can be. If I'm able to get on over, say, my lunch hour, say maybe an hour in the evening, some of the women may have photos available. So I'll donate for those. So my Free Implants is based in the U.S., but we've seen massive growth in the U.K. In the last year alone, we've seen 70% increase in women signups and 40% in men on the donor side. That's an increase from 327 to 545 British women on the site in the last year. So still tiny numbers, but it's raising concerns. Young women engage in online conversations about these intimate photographs with strangers in return for money. And we find this quite degrading and are truly appalled. We're deeply concerned. There are also more than 900 British men with active profiles. They donate money for women to get boob jobs. The women have to raise thousands of pounds to reach their goal. We tried to get some of the women to talk to us, but it was difficult. One pulled out because her family were worried it would sound like she was involved in online prostitution. Rebecca would speak to us after the company said they'd pay her to do so. I really want a breast enlargement because, I mean, I've wanted it for so long, for about 10 years now, especially since I had my daughter, mm. who's seven. But my self-esteem just is really low and I think, why do I have to feel like this anymore when there's this great opportunity that I found out about what can help so many girls like me? So what's the, the amount that you've got to raise? Um, I've got to raise, I think it's around $7,000, which seems like a crazy large amount, but yeah, it takes time and a lot of effort. Now tell me about how you actually earn the money then. What do you need to do? Well, a lot of it is just most, you make friends with the donors. A lot of the donations come through as messages because every message I receive from a member adds up as a dollar. So they quickly amount up if you're sending like messages backwards and forwards. But you also get donations, which can be from just the members being friendly and nice and kind. Upon reaching their desired fundraising target, the payment is sent directly to the surgeon of the woman's choice and my frame plants takes a cut of 19% of all raised funds. So, 81% of the money donated goes to fund the women's operations, money which is mainly donated by men. You're able to meet people from all over the world. You're able to hear their stories, their situations, as far as what they've been through, as far as why they want a particular surgery. That's pretty much why I'm there for, their support, to encourage and whatever form I'm able to donate, that's what I do. I mean, I enjoy the friendship aspect of it as well. But we've heard stories of women who stopped using the site because they felt it was sleazy. It's clearly not just chats and friendships. So how else do women raise the money? Well, I do do some photos which I send. They can ask for stuff like either topless or if in certain clothes what they want, you send that and you can get like a £10 donation, etc. Or you can do live chats with them or on webcam or there's some things that I've been doing is writing erotic stories for one of the members which is really interesting I've never done anything like that before but it's really exciting once you get into it. The things that I'm open to do on the website is pretty like risky so it's all new to me because I've never really done anything like in that sort of division before but <clears throat> yeah I would like to sort of take my time and not do anything that I'd regret in the future, but if I can, if I get asked a question or asked to send something, I'm totally open to doing it as long as it's going to get me my goal quicker. There are some women that use the webcam for donation purposes. Some may do dances or some may show their breasts on camera or whatnot. I'm not for that type of donation. If someone turns on the webcam, they want to chat. That's fine with me. I mean, there are some women that right through their surgery or their progress, they may show their body as far as how their body has progressed and after their surgery, their new breast augmentation. So, I mean, that's okay. That's fine with me. My contribution or donation did something. You know, a nice little gesture. Aren't the women on the site being exploited? Anyone who would say that the women are being exploited, I would say that if they choose to use the site, that's up to them. But for me, it's always been about genuine caring and giving. 
a sentiment which isn't shared by the British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, who are extremely concerned about the website. The concept of websites such as My Free Implants, we think it is potentially exploitative of very vulnerable women. It is a wholly inappropriate environment in which to discuss a major surgical procedure. And we're quite horrified that young women are, are absorbed into this frenzy where they put intimate photographs of themselves, engage in online conversations about these intimate photographs with strangers in return for money. And we find this quite degrading and are truly appalled. We're deeply concerned. I've spoken to um, a donor. He just thinks he's helping women out. Can you not see his point of view? My concern is that he really doesn't potentially understand the pros and cons of this surgery, the effect it has on women, the ongoing lifelong commitment that they are putting themselves through, the risks that they put themselves through. And, and why should anybody demand intimate photographs of these women? It, it, it just beggars belief. I personally believe in free will and someone decides to sign up for the site, whether that's a man or a woman, and use it, they're making that own decision. They're, you know, they're an adult. They're capable of deciding to use the service or not. My Free Implants claim they use surgeons who are members of the British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons. But BARPs say surgeons can't tell where patients obtain their funds, and any member who knowingly performed a surgery for the website would face expulsion. We're grown women, it's totally our decision to do this type of thing and there's no pressure at all on the ladies to do erotic photos or anything of that sort. I mean, if you don't like what one of the men's saying, it's up to you, you can just block them and move on to somebody else who's friendlier, there's no pressure whatsoever. But isn't this just another way of selling sex online? You can say that it's a sexually charged atmosphere, sure, and, and sex is sold everywhere. This is, I mean, it's nothing new. If if you're going to say that, that My Frame Plants is selling sex, then, you know, so is just about every other business in, in some way in their marketing that this isn't the only website or, or business in the world doing this.